pick up any bass. Here's another one. No fucking way. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. Back at home, just got done with the GMR. Uploaded a video of doing some smallmouth fishing and some creeks and rivers back in Southwest Ohio. Had an awesome time, caught some awesome fish. But today I'm gonna be fishing a creek back near where I'm from. And the conditions are, well, I'll show you. It's pretty flooded, but I've had success in conditions like this before. The key is to get loud, hit the bottom, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a little DT6 Rapala. It's in like a hot crawl color. It's like a reddish, pinkish color. Excellent color for spring. The large mouth, small mouth, they're eating up on crayfish and such. So I'm gonna give that a shot down here. Let's see if we can't catch some fish. Stay tuned for the action. Let's go. All righty, let's do a little gear check. I got my Daiwa Tatula 100 HSL spooled up in 12 pound fluorocarbon. I got my Dobbins Caden series rod. This is actually the rod they make for crankbaits and topwater, so what perfect thing to, to match it up with is a DT6 Rapala, an excellent springtime color. It's got the orange belly, some pink and red. And this, and this bill right here is gonna be enough for me to fish in this spot effectively on the bottom. So let's see if we can't catch some fish on it. Rivers, or the creek is up pretty good. Usually this is all exposed rock. But these fish get fired up in these conditions. You'll be surprised at what you can pull out of here. There's another one. No freaking way. Is that a smallie? No, it's a bigger, it's another largemouth. Holy smokes. Chill out, bub, chill out. Another nice creek largemouth, man. Oh, chill out with them trebles. Another freaking chunker. Oh, chill out. Look at that, like two casts later. This is insane, flooded creek. These largemouth are just chomping. You wanna get a release on this one? This is another 13 incher. Chunky green bass. Here you go, buddy. These fish really like this eddy right here. See this calm pocket of water? Usually they'll stay along this uh, current seam and just pick off stuff as it's falling over the waterfalls. They'll also hang up under this lip and just wait for stuff to get washed downstream. So this is a very productive area too, just beating that crankbait along the bottom right there. And then this uh, little uh, eddy that's created right here from the high waters. There we go. Feels like a good one too. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Chill out, buddy. Just smoked, smoked this crankbait. That's a three and a half pounder all day. Look at that. Just T-boned it. That is a creek giant. All right, chill out, bub. I'm gonna get you out of here. All right, we're gonna let this beast go. This is the biggest bass I've ever caught out of here. 18 incher. That's every bit of three and a half pounds. That's a heavy, thick fish. Let's get a release. Good fight, buddy. Thank you. Let's go. All right, well, you can't ask for much more with a 45 minute pit stop at the creek in rainy flooded conditions. Caught two really nice bass. That one is a giant. That's a creek giant largemouth bass. I don't care what you say, but an 18 inch largemouth that's three and a half, probably pushing four pounds. That's a big largemouth bass for a little creek like this. But I had a good time. It was a short video. I apologize. 
But after I caught that fish and caught another one, I was like, I can't leave these off of my channel. So I'm putting it up on the channel because like I said in the other video, this is a documentation. It's a documentation process for me and I just love putting all my content on my channel and just keeping it there so I can always go back and look at what I've caught and look out at how I was successful in the past. But I'm getting pretty dang good with this bait casting rod. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this combo that I picked up at Vance Outdoors. I also got that DT6 at Vance Outdoors. Just an excellent combo and it's been kicking butt for me lately. And it's awesome. I can't wait to really start the season off. It's been slow this year. The start's been super slow. If you want to get some water lanes, use code CRAWLER15 on their website to save 15% off everything in the store. Get some polarized shades for the spring. If you want to get some Nico baits, you can use code CRAWLER10 for 10% off their entire website. Or you can go to Vance Outdoors and pick up your Nico baits. And you see what I've been doing with those recently. Flooded rivers, flooded creeks, it don't matter. Been catching fish on them. Those leeches have been absolutely deadly for me. If you want to get this kind of stuff, Vance Outdoors also sells Nico baits and has all the fishing gear. And you'll be surprised at all the stuff that they have, the selection they have at Vance Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the water. Let's go! Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh,